What inspired you to play basketball? I started playing when I was like probably three or four. My dad, he was always in the gym and stuff like that, so I was always with him. I probably got in basketball probably like four or five, my dad coached. So I would just kind of watch practice and kind of pick up the game. Uh, what is one of your most memorable moments at Duke? Uh, probably uh, when I hit the shot against Notre Dame. That was a big, big moment for me in the season. You know, I was going through a little bit of a slump at the time and that shot kind of propelled me for the rest of the season. I mean, I didn't really play much, but anytime I really kind of did play, um, it's kind of a good time. Uh, just, just enjoy getting better in practice all day. So what's the biggest differences between like high school and college basketball? You gotta be more efficient what you do. You know, it's not you're not gonna sit there and dribble 40 times before you make a move. It's kind of you gotta think quicker. You know, I mean, for me, I don't think the physicality or anything was the biggest part. But just you know, making quicker moves, making quicker decisions. Ah. Do people look at you differently? Do you guys have more clout compared to like in high school? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, being a dude, that's a big target on you. Uh, I mean, we you just try to go through life like normal people. I think sometimes people forget like we are regular classes too. Uh, we just <laughs> going through life, have problems just like everybody else. But I mean, obviously, off the court, it's cool. People always looking at you like you're a special person. But I mean, in reality, we just yeah, everyone here at Duke is really good at something, and we are too. Anyway. You walk around, obviously people are gonna know who you are because I mean you play on TV, um, your names get you know get put out on whatever. But I mean, at the end of the day, we, we go to class and whatever. People who kind of work with us in group projects, they kind of realize you know these kids are just like everyone else. Do people come up to you guys and like say hi or not? I feel like people are too shy to do so, especially for Mark. He's a big guy. People are scared of Mark? Yeah. For real, yeah, he's a intimidating <laughs> guy. But you're like six, seven? Six, yeah. Six. They do sometimes. I think the worst thing is when they just like stare at you. That's mm. like, like they're just staring, kind of looking like they want to say something. Mm. <laughs> they don't say anything. So, so if you could put a percentage, staring. I think, I think like 65% of the time they just stare. <laughs> like they just kind of look at you. Like you could be out, you could be, at the woo, I don't know, wherever, they just kind of like look like they want to say something or think of something and they don't say nothing. I think, I mean, you might as well just say like hi or something at that point. I mean, not the time I was like, I'd say like, what's up at that point? Like, just gonna sit there and look. I go unbothered, I can walk in the library, no one's gonna bother me. Walk in to get food, no one's gonna stop to say hi or say, look at me. I'm gonna Why go, is that, do you think? I'm gonna go to, the, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to the rec, they're gonna think I'm just, play, you know, a soccer goalie. It might have happened. Like, that, that just happened. You know, I can tell, I, you know, they don't know what sport I play, you know, I might look like a little athletic, whatever, but uh, I can be a nice, unbothered Duke student and I'll, and I'll enjoy that. I mean, I think it's your, it's your smile that lets you do that. So a smile can unlock a lot of doors. But when do you practice? Do you have to wake up early? No, we don't wake up very early. Um, we, we practice in the afternoon. The girls' team practices in the morning. So uh, they get the early mornings and things like that. We practice like sometimes in the afternoon, usually between like 1 and 3. We'll start practicing anywhere between there. The gym is always open 24 7. We just scan our phones in any time of the day. We have managers any time of the day. They're the best managers in the country, always getting us right. Do you guys know Eric, the manager? He's like oh, yeah, tall. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's my guy. Yeah, he's my guy. Shout out E. Shout out E Money, baby. Yeah, shout out e.
How do you prepare mentally for games and like manage pressure and nerves? I think you can't focus too much on what's going on because we, we sometimes we're in some big pressure, pressurized situations. I think you just gotta trust yourself, trust your work. Um, me personally, being a Christian, I just try to pray to God. Honestly, just out of your life, man. I just you know just try to lean on Him. You know, me being myself, though, I'm not. I never get too up or down. You know, they call me easy. Actually, I'm just really easy doing, chill guys. So. How often are you guys watching your highlights? Like replaying your highlights? Like that Notre Dame game, did you, did, how many times did you replay that? Actually, I haven't, I never actually watched the, uh, I didn't actually watch the shot. I mean, I've seen it on social media, like that. I never actually went back and watched it. Really? You'd be surprised. I don't think a lot of us actually, when you're in the course of the season, you don't just go watch your highlights because everything is always so next next game or this or that. Or uh, I mean, obviously you'll see that to the game, but it's not like we just go back. Usually you're looking like at the whole game in its entirety, not just the highlights. So trying to figure out what you can do better also. Is he captain? Because like for me, I make TikToks and I'm like rewatching myself. You get, you get humbled a lot of times and you never want to get really too high. Or at the end of the day, you watch all your basketball kind of stuff. You really just want to go back and take a nap, watch a movie. It's Some things actually stick with you more than like maybe the highlights or like things you like should have done and you realize it maybe later and you're like, ah, and that's what really you go to bed thinking about like, ah, I should have done this and other than the, oh, I had a down today or this and that. Ah, I should have made this move instead of that move. If you like miss a game winning shot, how do you get over that? Um, I think, you know, as I said before, you can't get too high too. I think it's basically for me this season, I had a lot of highs outside some lows though. So I think uh, I definitely had to figure out like, not to really just dwell on things, but just kind of keep pushing forward and knowing that my time was gonna come. Bro, I'm gonna take some advice for that. Cause I literally, I, I'll, I'll show you one I did. I was rewatching it like a hundred times. I was, I was at a high. Yeah. I, I like to. I mean, as far as you, I mean, you're a content creator. You got to go back and you really got to... That's true, but it was like after that. Is, are you analyzing when you're watching or are you just kind of... <laughs> you're just kind of... I was like, wow, this is off a great to TikTok. Yeah, okay. Right, I have to, I have to, I have to, let me just show right now. You watch a video of yourself in the rain <laughs> over and over and over. Maybe hey, I should have said that. For me, I don't know what you're trying to get in life, but uh, like, are you, you're single, right? You're single? I'm single. All right. There's probably, how many people viewed it? Like a few hundred? A few thousand? A few thousand. Come on. A few thousand. Come on. And you're telling me not one girl thought, you know, Actually, what, 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 a couple guys did. <laughs> Sushi's good. Do you, do you eat with the chopsticks? I eat chopsticks. Me Actually, too. so I didn't know that we had a little sushi spot on campus. I saw him post on his story talking about you know chopsticks or whatever, and eating with chopsticks. I was like, you know what? That sushi looks pretty good. I go to the sushi spot. I had 24 rolls, four different nights forever. So that's 96. It's almost 100 rolls of sushi. Good eats. But I posted that like a few days ago. Yeah, I've been there four times. <laughs> you haven't thanked me yet. I'm thanking you now. You're welcome. Are you guys going to be dancing in the locker room with Jared McCain? I don't know. We'll have to see where it takes us. I'm not sure yet. It, it kind of depends on if a good trend comes out, if everyone's in the locker room, right, put facts. the camera up and yeah. Whoever's in the camera, that's kind of how, you know, I've yeah. experienced TikTok we'll kind of works. I'm, uh, sure, I'm sure we'll make an appearance. It's all, right you know, all fun and games, so. Yeah. Yeah.
What advice would you give to the younger players aspiring to play college basketball? Um, middle drive. No, <laughs> I don't want to sound cliche. I don't know. Um, just, just keep working. I mean, That's I'm, cliche. Yeah, I don't. Honestly, at the end of the day, it's basically you just gotta keep, you put your head down, keep working, stay with it, stay positive. There's like no shortcuts then. There's definitely no shortcuts. Mm -hmm. I mean. You just gotta, you gotta put the work in. And trust, if you take a shortcut, it will come back. Yeah. It haunts you later. I promise. All right, thank you. Okay. There you go.